Well, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to do an unboxing of this SJRC S Series S70W with the GPS, dual GPS. Um, it's a Phantom clone. To be honest, it's more close to a Phantom 4 clone than perhaps another version of the Phantom. Um, it has a GPS return to home, follow me technology, draw the dot, critical battery return, and it has a 90 degrees articulating wide angle camera. Uh, Let's see what it says here on the back side. It, um, let's see how uh, it has a HD Wi Fi camera 90 degree, articulating 120 degree wide angle lens. Its battery is uh, 7.4 volts, 2500 milliamps lithium ion LED battery. Um, it, it could be charged while connected to the drone itself. So you don't have to remove the battery. Uh, by the way, I did try out the battery once. Just It's kind of tough to um, remove, so you really have to use some force. Yes, I did actually open up this package yesterday because I got it yesterday. Uh, my voice vo was really, really bad at that time, so I actually doing a re-unboxing, to be honest. So, um, uh, the GPS features it has is uh, follow me, GPS return home, GPS positioning and hold, a geofencing system, low battery return, uh, it has headless mode, auto take off and landing, auto hover. It seems to have a 9 axis gyroscope. Uh, color coded dual LED lights. It has um, 500 meters range almost. Uh, see, I don't know if it really has it, but uh, yeah, it maybe could go up to 500 meters. Uh, the transmission range is up to 200 meters. Uh, it can fly up to 120 meters and the speed is 25 kilometers in an hour. Uh, there is an app for this one to be able to uh, retrieve uh, receiving the, uh, the FPV Wi-Fi picture from the camera itself. And the camera is actually, you can tilt it up and down. Uh, it's many, many good things. Uh, some parts of it actually seems to be kind of close to the real deal. But I don't know if it works as good as the real deal. Um, yeah. So let's see what comes into the box. Oh, just yes, I forgot them. Here are the information for downloading the app to your phone, and it works on both Android and iOS. I have to say one good thing about the packaging that is really really nice package, but we're getting spare. Uh, legs to the quad. It gives me micro cable to charge the the quad's battery and battery and uh, what's the name? The transmitter. And we get four props, spare props in case the old one goes. And you can see there are small caps in there as well if you're losing one of those and there is a screwdriver in there uh, let's see is there anything else in here no 
seems to be everything in there. You're getting a kind of nice manual. Let's see if I can open this thing up here. Nice and tidy manual. It's uh, yeah, it's a little problem here. You you can't read the first thing, uh, but I think there's maybe some water got into it somewhere somehow or something. Like that. But it seems to be actually quite kind of good can, kind of good uh, manual. I can't see any wrong spellings or grammatical errors. So it's actually quite nice. Here it explains how to calibrate the GPS and so on. I will show it later on. Uh, and everything, follow me, headless mode and all, how it works. Yes, we are getting, uh, as I said, a battery, 7.4 7 volts. Uh, 2500 milliamps battery it's a battery that you can charge here let's see if I can get it with it with with the USB micro cable and you press here to see if it's charged and it was actually fully charged when I got it which it's kind of strange I think you usually don't get the batteries fully charged but uh, here it is. You you just press it once to wake it up, and you hold it for some seconds to, yeah, make it go asleep. And and here we have the controller. It's kind of nice controller. It's uh, kind of plas plastic feeling to it. But not that bad. It kind of cheap plastic, though. You can really feel it. It's not the very best quality on the plastic, but it. I think it will work. It uh, are inspired by the Phantom. I think the Phantom controllers, stuff like that. Uh, we, we have the throttle here. Uh, forward. Left, right, back, and so on. Uh, these buttons here are the return to home, of course. The on-off switch. And here we have uh, auto launch and landing. Um, here I think we have the speed thing. Uh, if you want to fly a little faster, you can use this one. This rolling stuff we have follow me function here and here we have the headless mode if you just press it you go into headless mode but if you and you press it one more short time again it goes back to normal mode um, if you hold it for some seconds it would get out of gps it you, you would just fl fly attitude hold mode uh, on this side, we have uh, taking pictures and taking video. And here we can control the camera up and down. You have to uh, hold it for some time and we'll end it. The camera will tilt down or up. And here we have where we can put the phone. And the phone seems to hold... At least my phone that is kind of small. Let's see if I can find the phone here. As you can see, it works quite fine for the compact series of Sony. And it seems to sit really good into the phone holder. So, uh, Sony works. And I think we can... Put some bigger phones like five or six inches in there, but not bigger than that. So I don't think with the you could use any tablets or stuff like that. 
Yes, um, here. It's a built built in battery in this controller. Uh, it's kinda. It looks a little like Tovsto controllers, to be honest. It's kinda having these hills. I don't know what to call, it, but there are some rubber rubber stuff up on the on the back, and it kinda feels really really good to hold in. So uh, nothing wrong with that. But we have to uh, charge the controller every time with the USB micro cable. And the very last thing, the quad itself. And the quad, as we can see, already have its legs mounted. Um, let's see here. There are some buttons, I think, here on on this end, as you can see. I don't that. If you press that, you can remove the legs, and um, and we have the camera, and it's a Wi-Fi camera. It's, the camera is a 720p camera. It seems like. Um, so it don't film in HD or stuff like that. And as you can see, you, if you had prop cards, you can insert them. I think you can actually use the Suma X8. Yeah, X8 prop cards if you have any of the any of those left. So let's see how it works. I will, let's see here, yeah, the button should point down, and you just do like that. Now it's inserted. And you press this one, and press this one. And you see the camera wakes up and you do like this to uh, arm it. And uh, I won't fly it inside because I don't have any GPS inside here. But you can see there is some lights here. And I think it will tell us when we get everything that we need. So if we have any satellites on I think there is the GPS in the controller, stuff like that. So uh, there you have it. It's a kind of nice quad. It's it's a little big, and it's. I can't wait to try it out. Okay, maybe I should show you how it works inside the app as well. Uh, you download the SJRC app. Let's see here if I can connect to the quads Wi-Fi and you can find it here. SJ yeah, SJ GPS 18A2C5B or something like that. You accept it, point it and it connects. <laughs> And here we have the quad itself. You have a quick start guide here. And then we have controls. And we should go into controls. I allow. And you can see the camera there. I'm now going down. I use it. It's kind of annoying. And now I'm going up. The camera. It's kind of a nice, good picture.
uh, in let's see here we have several stuff here we have controls if I press this control you're getting follow me function what I can see uh, return to home or to land and that's I think maybe we could fly with uh, the quad without the controller um, this I think it's if we have to change anything change the camera or something like that uh, here we have the VR uh, if we have have any movies to play up we go there and then we get into the on the yeah we do have to uh, I don't know I don't know if it actually would save any movies or clips on the phone or on the SD card if you put an SD card in there uh, we have um, it flight record it tells you how far you long, fl fl flew uh, how fast uh, how high and stuff like that and what date and then we have this so-called um, I think there is some sort of waypoint mode in a sense. So uh, now it doesn't work in this one. There should be a, a, a map here. When I tried it out last time. And up here you would see the battery in the controller and in the quad. If we want to do some changes in settings, you go there. And as you see, it's already from start in beginner's mode. And then it's kind of locked in 30 meters and 25 meters up. You just change it there to remove it. And then if you want to have more, you just do like this. Uh, had to take that if it would go like this. And save. So now we save. Down here we have, I think, uh, range, height and how far and all the information we need to know where and how far the quad is so actually nice kind of nice app so uh, with that i will end this video so uh, see you another time bye